Yo, what's up, guys and girl? Um, interesting last week. I don't know what week just passed. Um, week eight just passed. Um, very good week. Had some good matchups. Um, some trades have been rolling through. Um, mainly my trades, but hey, man, getting them trades in. Um, before, talk about my poll, and then we'll go to Sean's poll. Mine really quick. Since he did a more serious poll, he went with a just off basketball topic poll. What do you like most about Christmas? Obviously, we're like two weeks away, but I figured I'd just throw it out there and have a more serious one coming up next week. And by the way, there will be no Christmas bonus this year for the first time ever in league history. There won't be one. Um, there was 13 votes. I don't know who the 14th person was, 14th person was, but you could have swung it to where I'd done a tiebreaker, but I won't go into that because it didn't happen. But the family, the food, the gifts, I'm greedy, vacation, or none of the above. You know, none of the above could be you don't like Christmas or just other things. Um, I'm going to go with family since I am a father. I love spending time with the kids. And, of course, the fiancé. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, and I love seeing my family. Oh, girl, I don't know my password. <sighs> there we go. But, let's go to Sean Straight. Interesting. I, I saw it earlier. He had a really good write-up. And I'm not going to read it. Um, you're more than welcome to read it. But anyways, Sean thinks a 14-man league is hard in summary. I agree with him, and it's very hard. Um, but I think the way to solve it, um, I wish he'd spell my name right. It's all I'd wish. God, it's all I wish. It's supposed to be my friend. I won't spell my name right. But I saw this while I was working. I'm not going to lie before I get into what I was going to say. Since who deserves the boot for me? Uh, I, I died laughing when because I, I thought Kyle was the unanimous pick. Unanimous. I said unanimous. I don't know if it means that. I don't know. But anyways, I saw a vote on Heath, and I started dying laughing because I just think it's funny. I wonder who has it out for Heath. Um, maybe Heath voted for himself. Heck, I don't know, but I thought it was funny. Maybe Rusty did. But anyways, I thought it was very funny. I was dying laughing just sitting there in my car. Probably looks pretty stupid why I was laughing. But anyways, um, six votes on Kyle. But obviously I mean he's not playing so <laughs> but I could change that if y'all want I could put an owner in for him it's not me but I could put someone in you you, you text me about that how you feel about that maybe Kyle comes alive and you know that, that'll be problem solved but anyways he wants um, someone getting kicked out but my thing is that means we're at a 13 man league and that means someone's on a bye week every week which I don't want to happen and the way to solve that is have a rotisserie league, which I also also don't want to happen either. I like the head-to-head -head matchups um, because rotisserie leagues, fantasy basketball could be difficult. But then again, you know, I've never done one, but I don't really want to do one. But my thing is, excuse me, I think the way to save a 14-man league, you know, this was the first test run with 14 people anyways. I'm very, very happy about it. Um, like you said, it's hard. And, I mean, the waiver wire is pretty bummy. But, I mean, the way you could solve it is just take a roster spot away. Obviously, that's 14 more players on the waiver wire. Um, obviously, it gets a little better, but not too much. But this was a run to see what it was like to play in a 14-man uh, league. And if that, if anyone thinks, if, you know, Sean, mainly because he's the one that posted the post, if you think that could solve it, uh feel free to message me and tell me what you think of how to solve it without kicking because I mean we have 13 people that are playing um, most of them are active day in day out um, you know Dominic don't pick up people but I know he sends trades um, Cody's Cody you know when playoffs come around he'll be here he always is if he makes playoffs which he's borderline right now but you know it's Cody he might make it he might not but anyways I believe in Cody but uh, outside of kicking someone, because, I mean, you, even if we kick Kyle, you still have to find the 14th, and I believe John will come back next year. Um, you know, I could be wrong by saying that, but I firmly believe he would come back after taking a year off due to his personal reasons. But anyways, uh, you got to look at what comes after you kick someone, because uh, I, I just wouldn't have to kick one, I'd have to kick two. And I don't want to do that, because I like everyone that's playing. Now, obviously, if someone says they don't want to play, then, you know, I might favor a 12-man league after that, depending on how the 14-man leagues. But right now, I like the 14-man league. Like, like you said, it's hard. It's it's very hard. I'm, um, it's just hard. But anyway, let's get into last week. Um, ooh, the games haven't started yet. I'm early. 
Uh, oh, by the way, Brett couldn't be here because he said he had to uh, make sure his trivia picks couldn't be put in today. You know, he's got to take it serious. He's got that $50 left, that pick on a book of four. He said he couldn't couldn't do it today because no, I'm just playing. Um, came down with a bug over the weekend, so he couldn't be here. But anyways, um, I took care of Cali 8 to More of a surpriser. I thought it was going to be much closer and her to win, um, actually. But player advantage was 48 to 43. I had over 270 minutes more than she did. She came out with some day to days near the end of the week. Um, it should have been 8 3 1. K Love plays the last game. He'll get a double double. It's K Love. But I, I, I had this one pretty, pretty big. Um, surprisingly, my team played decent, but let's carry on to Kyle and Dominic. Dominic, I think this is two straight wins. You know, let's check that out. Is this two straight wins for you, Dominic? Because I'm, I know it's two wins on the year. I do know that. Um, could be wrong about two straight. No, definitely not two straight. Um, two in the last three, though. So that that's good for Dominic. Obviously, that sadly they're not big wins because he needs big wins, if you know what I'm saying, to boost that record to make playoffs. Um, but still, two wins on the year, that's that's good. Let's see what the player advantage was. Uh, it was close, though. I do know that. Uh, field goal percentage was insanely close. Free throw percentage close. Threes close. Um, eight offensive rebounds. Those are offensive rebounds, so harder to come by. So I'll say uh, a little out of reach, but then again, you know, who knows. Uh, steals were out of reach. Blocks were close. Double doubles were close. And points was close. This was a very good matchup, all in all. Um, Kyle had 33 players to Dominic's 40, so a seven-player advantage for Dominic, but not a heavy minute advantage for having seven more players. 61 minutes is what it looks like. Um, so that's... <sighs> I think Dominic will agree with me. He has bottom-tier players right now. Um, he obviously drafted, I think, too late. He sat on his money a little too long, which is fine. It was his first year. I think his first ever auction draft, so I mean, this, this happens. And I mean, that's fine. Um, maybe trading Kawhi. I know Sean had mentioned Brandon trading Durant, but I think Dominic needs to trade Kawhi more than anybody. Heck, package him and Porzingis and get like f four good players. But make sure it's a good trade, obviously. Um, or just, I mean, get rid of one of them for two. But you got to make sure they're good players. And I mean, I'm sure that's why he hasn't done a trade yet, because maybe he doesn't think it's good enough in his favor to trade. But. Just not looking good right now for him. But, I mean, a win's a win. And that's all that matters. Uh, Victor playing Heath. Um, player mat player advantage was stupid here. Um, I already know it. But it was a close matchup um, for how heavily the player advantage was. Uh, points were close. Steals were close. Blocks were arguably close. Um, Heath's team's the best assist team by far. I think he needs to give them up for... He said he needed offensive rebounds. I, I, I'll agree with it. He does. I think this is the most points he's ever scored in a week so far this year. Um, Heath's team's not bad. Um, I've been waiting for it to play good. It's the, it's played really well the past two weeks, um, as I'll show y'all player advantage as I keep talking. Uh, 41, 12, 01 for Vic, and then 48, 13, 59. So a seven-player advantage and 158 more minutes than Victor, and it was that close. Um, Victor's team's not bad. Um, it's been up and down all year long, but still, it's not bad. Um, I think this is what's holding Vic down right now is Rubio. He's not playing well. If he was playing Rubio-ish, he'd be playing much better. And I think Tyreek's been playing out of his mind since, uh, God, I'm burping like crazy. Conley went down, and I hope, for Victor's sake, these numbers stay relatively close when Conley comes back because I think he's playing point guard right now for him, which I can't blame them. Yeah, he got the point guard eligibility. It was SG and SF, so I guess he's been playing point guard, which I can't blame him. Tyreek's good. But Heath's team, do I think it's overperforming? I don't know. He's been he's been picking up more than he usually does. Um, Rondo's been playing out of his mind. Simmons is great. You know, he's got all these triple-double threats, which is like a trillion categories every night they play. Um, but let's be honest. I, I, I don't... I say it how it is. I've told Heath. Outside of his really good players, I don't know what's there. I think he was telling me Saturday he has like seven droppables, so when playoff comes, it could be scary for Heath. It really could, like, scary good. Because um, right now, he's definitely making playoffs with uh, two straight really good wins. He's over 500 now, and right now, on the upside. Looking really good. I'm Austin and Brandon. A really strange matchup. Um, didn't think Brandon had much to really give Austin, in all honesty, and 
looking at the play advantage, it's really, really, really shocking, especially when you see power rank. It's really shocking. Um, spoiler alert. But like, this was close. Like, it came down to free throw percentage, and uh, Brandon messaged me. Sorry, Brandon, I messaged you back. But if you watch this, you'll, you'll, you'll see my response. Um, he's Because uh, I think it was a tie after the night was over. And ESPN's really buggy when players shoot free throws. Like, if you keep up with your games on your phone, it'll say misses. And then, like, two minutes later, it'll actually correct it and says makes. And I think this is what happened here. Um, I think, oh, God, I'm going way down. Something's going way down. But, anyways, I think that's what happened, Brandon. I think just ESPN bugged and said his players were missing free throws, but they were, they were really making Because that's the only explanation I can think of. Um because I think that's the thing that switched, is what he said in the mess. But this is really close. Like, I mean, obviously, Austin dominated in the categories he won outside of free throw percentage. Um, Double-doubles were, you know, that's four double-doubles. You know, four double-doubles hard to come by. Um, 14 steals. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Austin's team, though, I don't know. Uh, Canner played really bad this week. Well, it was up and down. It wasn't bad. Like, I think he had two double-doubles still. But look at these players. 52... And then 15, 60 minutes. Look at Brandon's. 40 players even. That's a 12-player advantage and 260 minutes. Honestly, the minutes aren't that bad for 12 players difference. And then have Kali Stan play one single game. I was saying Kali Stan makes a dramatic difference because he's going to get blocks, you know, a little bit of points and some rebounds. But, I mean, not, not to catch you up in that. But still, it could have been closer. And you might have could have won free throw percentage. I don't know how he shoots free throws. But probably bad since he's a center. But anyways, I mean, that's really impressive for Brandon. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, that that's crazy how close this was for a 12-player advantage. Maybe Austin, if he doesn't pick up people, not good? I don't think so, but you never know. But Sean did say in his post that he had a bad week. So we'll just go with that. Um Sean probably did the re more, way more research than I did on that. So uh, Santana playing Cody. Um, Cody's got the injury bug right now. He seems to get it once a year. Every year he's been in here, and he's got it now. Um, Santana takes care of business. Seven, four, one. No double doubles from Cody. Really strange. Um, but you know his big guys are hurt. Um, close in offensive rebounds, and that's about it. Santana's team's been playing really, really good lately not the best this week still not bad you know top half but 47 to 38 non-player advantage um 300 in like 13 minutes so pretty heavy minute and player advantage like that's what i'm saying like over 300 minutes um for non-players austin at like 12 and it was like 200 and something or what man it could have been 300 and something but yeah i don't know i'm stupid but anyways he's got Anthony Davis played two games though this week, so that's surprising he didn't get a double double. I don't forget how long Joe kicks out. Let's check while we're on here. It's gonna be probably a long video. I'm slow. Um, he's got Isaiah coming back, still looking good for that. Uh, he's about to come back, so that's good. That's good for Cody. Really good for Cody because he needs him right now because he's borderline of playoffs and definitely needs him to come back. Uh, where are we at? Sean and Brett here. No surprise here. I, I think I actually got this one dead on. Not 2 1. Could be wrong. Could have said 8 3 1. But I, I knew it was going to be pretty heavy. Um, Brett picked up a lot of people this week to what he's usually done. Um, Sean sort of took it easy. Took it a little light until the end, until the end of the week. Um, I think Sean saw he had an opportunity to skunk him because coming into it, he needed some offensive rebounds and something else. Could have been blocks. So say tied in it. But. Brett ended up getting a category, keeping offensive rebounds, and then keeping something else, and then brought one back. So he might have brought blocks back. I'm not sure what he brought back. But, you know, they're hurt right now. Um, new team name. Interested to know what that means. And But Sean takes care of business. 36 to 1,007 and 43 to 12.34. And really demoralizing for me after you see power rankings. And, you know, I mean, I had way more play and just – couldn't compete, just didn't beat, couldn't beat him. So, I gotta keep making moves until I can, I guess. Um, last matchup of the week, Josh playing Rusty. Um, Josh took care of business here. Uh, wow, rebounds both 
Rebound super close. Three point percentage is close. Steals are close. Block. Wow, what a close. I did not notice. I didn't realize that how close this was. Because I thought Josh was. He probably just kept holding on to those categories all week long. Um, great matchup, man. Fantastic. Um, see this player advantage. Six more players. 200 and some more minutes. So, pfft, God, Rusty probably could have won this one. If he had many players as Josh, but um, he didn't. So, I mean, that's that's all the credit to Josh. Pulling out the W and staying in the playoffs. But Rusty could afford a loss. Uh, let's move on to this week. Me playing Heath, which should be a good matchup. Um, Dominic, he changed his name. Net. <laughs> team name. Unicorns and corn rolls here. Unicorns meaning you know, poisoning gets and corn rolls meaning kawaii I'm assuming. Um, playing Josh. Can Dominic win three of the last four? Or does Josh continue on? Um, Brandon playing Kyle. Well, I sure hope Brandon's team keeps playing the way it did last week because he could he could make a pretty good playoff run and if he'd start picking up pick up, pick, pick up, add add, drop. Not pick up and add, add, drop make some trades. He, Brandon, Brandon's got, he should be really happy after this last week. He really should. Um, Cody playing Victor should be a good matchup. I want to see Cody's team get back to full strength in this matchup. Um, be a really good matchup. The matchup I've been waiting for, Sean playing Goss. I've never been more excited for a matchup, and it's not even my matchup. Like, this is, I'm going to have my eyes on this all week long. It's going to be I think who can make the most ad drops. I really do. Like, obviously, there might be some other players that might play just two games this week, which will suck. But, oh, something to also note to the side. Austin didn't have Steph last week. So, I, I didn't say that earlier. Um, could have been some of the reasons for his down, but still. Moving on. It's going to be a great matchup. Um, Rusty playing Brett. Brett in need of a win. Rusty, not so much. Um, you know, obviously, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. Let's move on. Callie playing Santana. Callie, another one in need of a big win, playing a really good Santana team. Obviously, like I said, it came down a little bit this week, but still, it is what it is. Um, let's move over to my favorite screen that shows everything. Um, here we are. Um, these are my predictions for the week. Like I said, Sean lost the matchup of the week, man. Um, I think Sean, though, edges him 7 5 0. Sean's more hungry than anybody. I'm telling you, man, he wants two straight. I'm not saying he's hungry than everyone because I'm sure Brett wants to make the playoffs and other people want to make the playoffs. But I know when it comes down to it, Sean going to give it his all. And I think week in, week out, Sean wants to win. I'm not saying Austin doesn't, <laughs> but Sean wants the W. Um, he's playing me. I think this is a really good matchup. I hope it's a good matchup. Um, well, I mean, if it's not, I hope I win big. But um, I got Heath winning seven five zero. I think his triple double guy is just too much, just too much. And the trade I just did, I don't know how it's really going to pan out. So, yeah, no oh well. Um, Dominic playing Josh. Um, I'm not believing in the three out of the last four wins. I, I hope you make me a believer, but I think you definitely got to trade and do some ad drops. Um, until then, give me Josh 831. Um, Brandon playing Kyle. Um, I should be going heavier in Brandon's way, but I think Brandon's team doesn't play as good as it did last week. Um, I think it does fall off when Angela Russell comes back for Cali because it's been the Dinwiddle and Levert minutes will go down. Well, I, I, they'll get good minutes. Uh, I just want to know what they're going to do with them when they return to their original roles. But give me Brandon 741. Cody playing Victor. Obviously, this could be much, much, much closer if Jokic and Anthony Davis plays all the games this week. I think this is only two of our people. I could be wrong. But I don't think Victor has any injuries outside of Tristan, and he don't count because he sucks. But give me Victor 741. I like the trade he just did. Um, Rusty playing Brett. Brett needs a win, man. He does. Now, does he give it everything he's got? I don't think... I don't know. If he can keep it close, that's all he needs to do. Obviously, winning is important. But jumping four people, you know, if they if those four people keep losing, you just get five wins a week and you might get in. Um, but I think Brett really contests this hard if it starts getting out of hand because Brett wants in the playoffs. Um, and his team needs to get healthy, for sure. And right now, 
It's not healthy, and he can't be waiting, and that's why I think he tries really hard. Um, Callie playing Santana. Man, Cal Callie's team is not bad, but it played really bad last week. Santana's team, looking for it to bounce back um, compared to how great it was doing, because Santana's still picking up, as you can tell over here. Um, I don't know, but give me Santana 8-3-1. Um, we'll move over to power. It's something I've not really talked about lately, and I'm still not going to. But this is what I'm talking about demoralizing. Sean had five less game players play uh, over 150 minutes, and still would have beat me last week. <sighs> it's frustrating, man. But Austin and Sean plays the one and four. Five and six play me and Heath. Um, should be some good matchups. Um, Josh is playing Dominic. At the 12 and 2. Brandon is playing Kyle, I think. 3 and 14. Like I said, should have went more in favor of Brandon. Um, Brett playing Rusty, 9 and 11. So that's close. Um, don't know what else I'm missing. But Victor and Cody, 7 and 10. This one I missed. But Austin, 11 pickups last week. I'm assuming they were all for dollars. So that's $11. That's a lot of pickups. And I, I, think, I think he does more than 11 pickups this week because he's playing Sean. Um, and Sean, seven pickups. Most of them were at the end of the week. I think he has double digits this week. I really do. I mean, <laughs> they could prove me wrong and just not pick up anybody after today. But still really understand why Kyle doesn't do pickups because I'm assuming he's just not there to check. Um, Dominic, still confused why you don't pick up. Um, Cody, he could, but when does Cody check it? Um... Some Brett did six pickups. I think it's the most he's done all year. Obviously, the big one in Oka Four for one hundred and one dollars puts him at fifty for the year. Um, I thought that. I mean, nothing really like pops out of my eyes on pickups. Um, Brandon just having one last week's. This is what I'm saying. Forty games played, thirteen hundred minutes. Like, look at all the people we could have beat with just forty players. And that's weird too. Forty games played. The Sean's three more and had more minutes than Sean too. That's that's interesting. Um, but Janis gets a poop ton of minutes, so that could be one of the reasons. But I'm sure so does LeBron. But I don't know. Nothing really pops off my eyes looking at power, honestly. Just Santana. Well, I thought Santana was on top half. Guess not. Eighth, bottom half. Um, still not bad. Um, my picks for this week, I didn't pick them either. I'll pick them on uh, Wednesday or whenever I put them on the computer. Um, guys, you can get them in before Wednesday. You can do it today and Tuesday. I know a few of you do usually do it on Tuesday, and some do it today after they see the video. But stop scaring me on Wednesday. Like 10 minutes till the games, I get like three messages. I'm like, God dang, got to put them in. I'm not even at home near the computer. So that's difficult. So if you can get them in before Wednesday, like 5 o'clock, that would be great. I'm not going to cut you off at 5. Obviously, I'll cut you off at 7. But... Please get them in. Please, just before freaking five, five o'clock. Please. Oh, Victor's got to participate this week. He lost the bet to me. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like there's nine games for some reason, and I might have missed one. You know, this video is long, boys. Long video. Wednesday, Wednesday. Who'd I miss? Who'd I miss? Who'd I miss? Um, definitely missed someone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, who'd I miss? Charlotte. Did I get that one? Ah, it's there, boys. Just didn't bring it up. All right. Um, I'll get my picks in, though, uh, for the thing. One thing I wanted to end on, uh, this is why he is heart and hustle every year. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday. If y'all guys didn't know, y'all could do this, by the way. I show it usually every year. Uh, players, free agent report. Shows everyone that bidded for a player um, and what they put on them. Uh, I think it was Wednesday. Uh, maybe the 8th? I really don't know. Uh, no, this was Okafor Day. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> nah, that's one thing I did want to mention. This was funny. This brought up. I like how... Who is it? Austin was like, yeah, let me get him for three dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then uh, Heath goes, yeah, 16 was a lot for me, guys. God, he's got a poop ton of money. This is, I'm sorry. I told Heath, I was like, Heath, you got to spend some money, man. You need centers. He's picking up a center usually every other day because he only has one. Like, if I thought anyone was going to go for him, it was definitely going to be Brett, where his team's hurt and not playing the best. And then Heath, he needs a center. Like, God dang 
Keith. You, you're making me mad. Um, I was mad I didn't get him, but I should never have dropped him. That was accidental, but I could have picked him back up. Just didn't. Man, was I on the 8th? Let's go to the 7th. Where is it at? Maybe I was right. It's Wednesday the 6th. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. No, it's not. God, I guess I'm just not going to be able to show it. I want to show why he's heart and hustle every single year. Yeah, here it is, boys. Look at this. He had backups then. Look at this. Backup, backup, backup. He had just had backups. I mean, this this is what makes Sean great. Obviously, I did too. Um, I was assuming I didn't get Tyler Rulas that day. But I learned this from Sean. Sean taught me this. Put in all these extra pickups so you guarantee yourself to get one. And I think it's great. Like, that's why he gets to. Uh, he's making sure... He's the man. He's getting somebody that day. And learned that from all good old Sean. Um, the moves are pretty high, actually, um, so far through the year. Um, a lot of action. That's one of the things I like this year. There's been a lot a lot of moves. Um, I think this is 2017. And here's your moves. <sighs> Obviously, Sean with 251. Um, but the next highest was 79 and 76. But, I mean, like, if you compare, I think there's going to be several people that blow past the 79-76 and let's just see if Sean hits a 251 mark or not but he's well on his way but anyways here's your standings um obviously Austin running away in that division like I say every week um Sean keeping hold of that division um, this week could hurt him if both Brandon obviously Cody uh and Heath win because I mean they could creep under double digit games if Sean gets beat pretty bad, and Heath and all these guys. Obviously, Cody would have to kill someone. Kill Victor, I don't think happens. But Brandon could gain a lot this week playing Kyle, especially if Sean loses. And Heath could, too. He could, he could definitely beat me. There's no doubt about that. Um, and same same thing in the other division. If anyone wants to catch Austin, it starts this week. He has to lose, and everyone else in this division must win big. Um, obviously, I think Brett's out of this division race 40 and a half games back, and I think he'll agree with me, but that's not the big picture for Brett. Playoffs. Um, my division up for grabs. Um, I finally got a double-digit lead, but Josh gets Dominic and could win big in that. I'm, I'm rooting for you, Dominic, even though you're in my division, but you're 21 games back, so it's much better than 10. Um, I think Callie struggles this week, and so does Kyle, so they're going to get pushed back even more. I got a tough matchup. I don't think Josh has a hard as matchup as I do, is all worded. So, oh, what's your bottom four teams? Have they changed? Have they changed? Yes, they have. Callie, did she join last week? Yeah, I think she did. Uh, no, no, I think this is her first week that she joined. Um, right now, Callie, Kyle, Dominic, and last place is Brett. Dang. Come on, Brett. Um, do I think these are your four teams? I think it's getting close. I do think it's getting close. I think you should go and say Kyle. I had Kyle out of it at one point when it looked like his team was alive and he was playing for like a week. Um, if Dominic don't do any moves or trades, I got to put Dominic out. I do. And I don't want to do that because he's a newcomer and I don't want to put him down. But it's just that rookie year, man. It's tough. Um, if Callie and Brent don't make playoffs, I'd be weird because they're, they're usually on the other side of this standings list. But it's hard to push anyone down. Like, it really is. Like, Brandon's team playing that well. Heath's team came alive. Rusty's team's not playing bad. Um, Cody's team could be good. Josh's team coming alive. Like, they got their work cut out for them for sure, this bottom four. And do I think it's possible? Sure. But Brett's got to do things now because in the year with two straight weeks against Austin, that could definitely hurt. But anyways, great action on the poll this past week like i said definitely show sean some love on his poll and uh what he said like read it it's good stuff and everyone have a good week um outside of that good week keep doing your pickups love you guys man i love you